right, let's see. Try to get y'all angled up proper. There we go. Yeah, raise y'all up. to put this on that nail on the pole and that will give me two holes to get the blade balance bring it out <coughs> see no still land band there see what I doing yeah well so it's showing up on camera if not well sorry no nope, i'm not the greatest camera man in the world but <sighs> this blade is perfectly balanced that's the thing when you Sharpening the blade, you got to take off the same amount of material on each side. Count your strokes. Yes, and I did not remove the paint from this area. I removed it just enough on this edge. So now this blade's ready to be installed. So let's get that set up and get y'all set up and let's put it back home. And hopefully, it won't have any issues this coming. Weed and grass season. Roll y'all back down. And we angle y'all where y'all can see what's going on. Now. Next part. This blade has a stall pattern. There's five and six point stall patterns. Make sure, make, make, make sure that you have this stall pattern lined up with the stall bit on the blade spindle. If you don't, you're going to have a sticky wicket, as Mick from Mick's Moore over in England would say. And you don't want that. Just trust me, it ain't no fun. So let's get this blade installed. And I do put a little grease, not much, just enough on these threads. So removal and installation of these bolts are easy because when these get badly rusted only thing you can do is take off take them off with the impact gun and hopefully they don't break because if they break then you gotta replace the whole spindle you can keep the 
spindle housing, but you've got to take the spindle out and find that spindle. And with the shortages going on today, you'll be lucky if you find one. Get the bolt started in its uh, threaded area, and you just keep working with the blade till you get it to where it is perfectly seated on the stall pattern. The female and male stall patterns meet. Then keep tightening. Keep just keep working with the blade, and then when you think that you have it, turn the blade. And if it's turning the spindle, then it's probably locked on. So I said. You can tear up that stall pattern on that spindle. You a dog leak without a paddle. All right, now let's tighten this blade back up. And there we go. Blade is properly installed. I'll show y'all what's going on. Yep. Get to where y'all see what's going on because it's kind of light out here. But, yeah, real light. Yep. See? The blade is turning proper. So it is properly installed on this spindle. Now, well, I would uh, keep y'all around, but, you know, I got other them other two blades are sharpen and I will uh bring y'all back when I get through with it. So y'all have a nice day. See you later. Have a good one.